This is the new story editor in the Insta360 app. It has a new layout and design so you can easily edit multiple shots together into a story. To find it, go to the Stories tab and tap Create a Story. Choose which shots to add into your story, tap a shot to preview it. If it's a 360 video, you can look around. Tap the back arrow to go back. To select the shots, tap the check boxes and tap Selected. Pinch your fingers outwards to zoom into the timeline and pinch your fingers inwards to zoom out of the timeline. Browse the timeline by swiping your finger to the left and to the right. Tap play to watch your video and tap it again to pause it. Keep tapping the aspect ratio button and change it to the format of your choice. Double tap a shot to trim it. To adjust the shot length, move the left and right marker inwards or outwards. To add a transition, tap the transition icon. Choose a transition and transition speed and tap the tick to confirm. POV uses AI to automatically reframe your 360 shots. Instead, use reframe to manually reframe your 360 shots. You can add a keyframe to choose your own angles. You can pinch inwards or outwards to choose a zoom level of your choice and tap update keyframe to save your changes. Another way to reframe your video is to tap reframe Add a keyframe, tap viewfinder, tap record and move your phone around to reframe. Swipe left to zoom in and swipe right to zoom out. Tap the tick to confirm. If you're unhappy with your edit, tap the edit and tap the trash can. To add a new shot into your timeline, tap the plus button, tap the checkbox of the shot and tap selected. To follow a subject without keyframing, tap reframe, add a keyframe, Look towards your subject, tap deep track, drag a box over the subject, tap start tracking, and the AI will automatically follow your subject. To remove the distortion, tap the edit, tap linear, and tap the tick to confirm. To add a barrel roll, tap reframe, add a keyframe, tap rotate, set it to zero, move some time later, add a keyframe, Tap Rotate, change it to 360. Now you have a barrel roll and tap the tick to confirm. Decide where you want to split your shot using the white marker, then tap Split and now your shot is in two parts. To rearrange your shots, hold down a shot and drag it where you want. Use volume to control how quiet or loud your shot is. You can apply the volume effect to all shots at once. Use speed to slow down or speed up the entire shot or part of a shot. Choose an option. Choose where you want the speed to begin. Tap a speed of your choice. Drag the timeline to where you want the speed to end and tap the tick to confirm. Select a shot and tap delete to remove it from your timeline. Use filter to color grade your video. Choose a filter of your choice. Choose the intensity of your liking and tap the tick to confirm. The face filter uses AI to edit your face. You can brighten your face, reshape your face to be thinner, make your eyes bigger, and make your nose thinner. Use adjust to fine tune the brightness, the contrast, the saturation, the white balance, the highlights, the shadows, the tone, and the sharpness. Tap the music symbol to add music. Browse the catalog of music and tap the track of your choice. Tap the tick to confirm. To edit the music, tap the track, tap edit. Drag the timeline to choose the music starting point. Drag the mixer to 50 to have 50% of your original audio and 50% music. To have it all music, drag the mixer to 100% and tap the tick to confirm. Tap the full screen icon to preview your video without any distractions and tap the icon in the bottom right hand corner to go back to the editing screen. In reframe, tap the three dots, then you'll have extra options including reset edit. Once you have finished editing your video, tap export, tap quick export, tap the cogwheel next to custom, select the highest resolution, the highest bit rate, tap save and now your video will export with the highest video quality possible to your phone album. If you learned something new from this video, then hit the like button, subscribe for more useful videos, which from now on are only 360 seconds or less.